Hi everybody and welcome back. So for today's topic, this is something that I've wanted to talk about for a really long time and a friend of mine who is a brilliant jewelry designer, creative, she designs the most unique jewelry that I've ever seen. She and I were just talking about this over dinner the other night and after our discussion I realized that I needed to put out a video right away for you guys because it is a topic that is really important, especially for those who are just starting out in your art career and really anyone because I don't think this feeling ever goes away. Um, so my topic for today is learning from other artists and the one habit that will kill your art career. Um, learning from other artists, we're gonna start with that first. It is extremely important, I think, to pay attention to what other successful artists are doing. This is one of the things that will surely help you propel your art career. And what I mean by uh, paying attention to other artists is, especially if you're on social media, which you obviously are because you're watching this video, uh, pay attention to artists who you emulate, whose work is similar to yours. Uh, an artist that you deem already successful, whether that be they have the number of followers you want, um, if they have their work consistently in galleries, if they uh, do articles for magazines, or if they are selling out uh, their paintings even before they're finished, whatever you deem successful, your vision of success, find an artist that is successfully doing that online via it be Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, wherever. Find those artists that you want to be like, uh, that you, where your career, you want your career to sort of match where they are now, and find out what it is that they are doing. Um, you can learn so much from what artists put out. Uh, let's say if an artist that you admire is successfully doing um, collaborations with other artists and you notice that they get 300 likes and a lot of conversation is happening and a lot of shares on Facebook because of that, then that's something that you might want to consider incorporating into your own business. You can kind of learn from other artists their successes can become your successes. Now, this doesn't mean that you copy what other artists are doing verbatim. You are just getting ideas for your own business based on what is successful uh, for other artists. So, um, that's one idea. Uh, I mean, it's really good to see how they are portraying their artwork, where they're putting their artwork. Um, which galleries they are connected to. Could you possibly be connected to those galleries if that's where you want to go? Um, if they do writings for art magazines or things like that, find out which magazines they're writing for. Would your work fit into those same categories? That's why it's important to find artists who are doing similar things that you are. If you're a wildlife artist, then you necessarily wouldn't want to follow a portrait artist because you would have completely different audiences. So it wouldn't benefit you as much to follow someone like that if you want to learn from them. So it's really important, I think, to do that because it will just help propel your art career even further if you can follow and learn from what other successful artists are doing. Now on to the one habit that will kill your art career. Uh, and this is, ex this is even more important than the first one. Don't compare yourself to other artists. Follow them, learn from them, but the minute you start comparing yourself to other artists, you will set yourself up for failure. All that does is get into your head and negative thoughts start coming in. Nothing positive can come from it, in my opinion. I have done this in the past. I do it now. I have to stop myself all the time from comparing myself to what other artists are doing. If you are following an artist whose work is extremely similar to yours and you get that little thought in your head that says, well, you know, my work is just as good as their work and they've got 20,000 followers and I have 500. And, and then you maybe say you let that go, but then 
it just it keeps nagging in the back of your head. And then you start following that artist even more and seeing what it is, how, well, how many followers does that artist have today? And, and why is it that they're getting their work sold when my work is much better than theirs and I can't sell my work? And it's just, it, it just propels negative thought. And when you do that, it makes things harder for you to succeed. You have to remember that you are not walking the same path as these other artists are. If they're doing work that is similar to yours, if their follower base is, is higher than yours, if they're selling work left and right, if they're in galleries, you don't know what kind of connections these people have. You don't know what kind of advertisements they may put out on Facebook. They may spend hundreds of dollars on advertisements to bring in those numbers, those followers. So you can't compare yourself to other artists. They are on a different path than you. You have to create your own path. If that means put your head down and just not pay attention to the outside noise and just keep moving forward, you have to do that. Don't look ahead as far as six months down the line and say, oh, I'm never going to get 20,000 followers. I only have 200 followers right now. Or I haven't sold my first piece of work yet and this person is already has people requesting work that they're willing to buy that hasn't even been created yet. You can't do that. You have to go day by day, sometimes hour by hour, because this all takes time. It builds upon each other. So please remember that above anything else, that it's extremely important that you just remember to follow your own path. I hope this video has been helpful. If it has, give it a thumbs up so I know that I'm providing the content that you wanna see. And if you have any additional thoughts on this particular subject, please put it in the comments section below because I'd love to get some uh, conversation started on this. So I hope you're all having a good day and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.